Hey up YouTube, it is a sunny morning, it is a Saturday morning and welcome back to the house. I've not been here for a week and a lot has happened and no, the title of this vlog is not clickbait. It's been a very expensive week for us and some of the stuff we're going to see today that has been put in and the rest of the stuff will be coming in the next few weeks but yeah, it has been an expensive week. So, had us coffee this morning, of course watch Mr David and Mr Ian as we do every Saturday morning. I think it was Mr Ian who did make some comment about our house and how it looked like a certain character from a UK TV series, children's programme of the past. I have no idea what he's talking about, do you? <laughs> also in this vlog, because I couldn't make it here this week, we will be premiering a worldwide premiere of something new, something the world has never seen before, called... Max Cam! So be prepared for some Max Cam clips to come. While I'm out here, one thing immediately we see has been done is the gutters. So I'll have a quick look around that. There we can see they've been done down the side of the house and they've been done at the back of the house. I'm not sure they did it on this side. I know they're going to do it on three sides. Let's have a quick look and see. Oh, he's gone so far down the roof where it runs down. Okay, that's good. And then he, what he said, the only thing he said here is you can put a, he's left this extendable thing on and I can dig it out and put it to drain, put a drain section in here. But um, let's have a look at the work that was in progress from a worldwide premiere of... Max Cam. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. AKA Alpha <laughs> <laughs> Going round the house. Yeah, yeah. Just the bit on the end. Yeah. Looking good. So there you go, we have that done. Uh, sorry last week's vlog was a little bit short. This one will be a, a little bit longer because I had to go back uh, early to, to, to attend the Diz discussion session. It's on the great group. Go and have a check them out on YouTube. There was a whole session there on talking about uh, costs of moving to America. And in fact, I think just talking about Mr. David and Mr. Ian, I think it was Mr. David who asked me, I'm sorry for moving in out the sun, maybe this is better. Oh, or maybe this is better. Oh, this is better. Oh, this is better. Let's go this. So um, I think it was Mr. David who said, uh, started asking me about my journey. I think it's pretty boring. But um, if anybody's interested, would anybody be interested in knowing my journey here, how I got here, if you do? In the comments below, uh, I'll do something, but I think it'd be pretty boring. But then again, there are a lot of Barry moments in the last <laughs> time to come over here. So let me know what you want to do there. So let's get back to the cost for this week. So just to prove it's not clickbait, on this particular credit card, you will see the total balance is, and I can't really hold it steady on filming, $19,612.39. So, yeah, that's all on one credit card. Now, I will emphasize, we are not getting in debt. This is our savings. we kind of blown all the savings on that particular money, but it's not in debt. And, and that's just a lesson I was learnt when I was a child. Uh, when, I, when I lived in Barnoldswick and I had a paper round at 10 years old, I used to go to the shop there, Donald's, and we get a toy that I wanted, maybe it was two pounds. We put it on the top shelf and then a brown paper bag. And then I would go do my paper round and every week I would go back and give him 20p. He'd bring it down, let me look at it, put it back on the shelf. So, you know, 10 weeks later, it was mine. And it taught me a lesson at 10, year old, at 10 years old that um, you have to pay for something to get it. It isn't for free. Now, not during life, everybody's going to have moments where they've got to get into debt. You've got to get a house, get a car. Those things happen. It's all down to personal circumstances. What I would say is minimize it where you can and also pay it off as fast as you can. We try on credit cards to have the money in the bank and then pay it off every month because those spiraling costs just um, just blow you out of proportion. So that's my advice. It can't work for everybody, but that's what we've tried to do through life. The other thing as well is the reason that's all on one credit card is you, if you do know there's a big project coming up and you do have the money in the bank, uh, we tend to hunt around and say, what deals can we get? Two or three years ago, we were I got a new job, which meant flying American Airlines everywhere and we had some projects on the house. So I got a, an American Airlines Premier card and put everything on it. All the shopping, the fl all the flights, everything. And, and I think, again, I've seen a few vlogs, Mr. Dave, Mr. Ian, we're talking about Avios. Well, this is, it's the same thing. It's part of British Airways. So we've used those points all once already to do, a, I think we went to Dubai two or three years ago on the points. We had the Disney trip this year to Japan, which we have to cancel. That's on the points. But again, it's just been throwing everything into that card for two years to try and maximize all the points to use. And the reason I got that Delta card is um, now we're in Florida 
American Airlines don't really fly. Well, they do fly from here, but it's limited flights. But if you think about Florida and Orlando and going back up to England, um, you've got two choices. You've got British Airways, so I could keep using the American, American Airways card, or there's direct flights from Virgin from, to Manchester, where my family is. And Delta is associated with Virgin, so if I get points on this, then I can use it on Virgin flights. And we do have, we already booked a flight for August with Virgin, going back to see the family. Hello, family. So the goal is um, get this card. These are like the top end ones that you pay money to have, but I only keep them for a year or two years because they also give you, I think it was 60,000 air miles. Plus if you put more than $15,000 on the car, they give you a chunk of these um, uh, qualification miles to get your status up. Means we'll be able to get in the lounge, maybe we might get an upgrade on the flight in the summer back to the UK. But then after a year, get rid of the card but it just if I just know there's a big expense coming if I can make it work it doesn't happen every time but I try and get a card so that's why you got 20 grand on there that we've spent because that is trying to maximize the some some win back for us we're going to spend the money anyway so why should we not try and win back on that so we have seen the gutters that was around two thousand six hundred dollars to have those gutters done um, and they look good and they we needed them and I'll show you why we needed them uh, in a minute but the other thing that happened this week the big expense was we decided to get the flooring done we were ooing and ahhing do we leave it do we not leave it what was it going to be how expensive was it going to be because we have our furniture up in Virginia that we're paying storage we have a rental house here that we're paying rent for so it was do we do all the renovations before getting the furniture do we get the furniture down here and do the renovations one room at a time and move things out and we just thought get it down here because the money we will save on rent and on the storage unit will actually pay back some of that $20,000 you just saw straight away. So um, that was the decision. Now I did originally say it was going to be around twenty dollars to $30,000 for the flooring, which some of you questioned, and you were right to question it. I was out, it was going to be more like fifteen dollars to $20,000 just to do the flooring, and that was to demo all the tile, take the carpet up, lay new tile, and that's too, it was outside our budget. We couldn't do the other things we wanted to do. So no, that $20,000 has not been all spent on the flooring. But we did decide to go at the end of the day with a laminate flooring to go on top of the tile and to take the carpet up and replace that with, with wood and put that down. And I've not seen it yet. Maxine's waiting in the house. I'm gonna go around the front and she's filmed, but I haven't really, you know, I've, I haven't looked at the film. Uh, she's told me a few things, but let's get my genuine reaction from walking in the house for the first time to see the new floor. And so it begins. She's starting to rip the carpet up. Let's go and see what it's like in here. Oh, the carpet's up already. All our new floors. Gonna get Clear Springs, Kelly Park. So I thought I'd let you see how dirty this house is. This is what I'm dealing with. Ooh. Never been cleaned in about 10 years, I don't think. Every single surface needs scrubbing vacuuming before i can even move in here <laughs> even on every door every see all the hairs and the dust on the baseboards i found out that every single closet I've not bothered to paint, it's still the original colour. So every single closet is going to need painting from scratch. Because the outside is grey. And then we have to start scrubbing because these are what I gotta deal with. Nastiness. Here we go. Look at that. Uh, every single room. And every single surface in this house 
it's been like that all the light switches it's that dirty it's sticky yuck let's see what they do this is the noise level Coming along. Well, the guys have just finished for today and they've done quite a lot. Most of the floor is down. I've just got to come and finish it and um, put the beading down around the skirting boards. So it should be all finished tomorrow. And this is the first time Barry will have seen the new floor. Yep, come on in. Wow. <laughs> what do you think, babe? Yes. This isn't dark, is it? It's not going to be too dark on the side of the shore. No, it's got grey and brown in yeah. it, which is what this we wanted. Here, the yeah, but the when it's... Gray. Gray. It's like wood. It feels like wood. It's not wood. <laughs> They've done a good job around the pillars as well, haven't they? Yep. For my Greek room, Greek lounge. That's just all the grey walls, isn't it? I blame the lodge guys for all this grey. Yeah, Lee and um, Nick, you've got a lot to answer for. <laughs> oh, that was what's about, isn't it? That's not exactly what I said. Oh, you did. Told you, Jay. Jay made a comment about wanting to see the black wallpaper. That's inside. It looks about the floor. Interesting. You can see the brown in it as well. Yep. And you just pick that up with the. Gosh, I'm good at picking colours. Now you're over here with your wooden cabinet. Can you see the brown in it? What do you think then? Good. You made the right choice. I think it's a hell of a lot better than it did before. Oh yeah. I think it's just a good mix of, because the, the furniture's brown and um, but I've wanted the grey so it's kind of a blend but it kind of, it's like chameleon isn't it? It's kind of moulding. It'd be interesting to see as the sun goes around during the day if it changes colour because to me the, the, when it was in the sunshine it's picking up more of the brown yet when it was down there in more of the shade it's picking up more of the grey. So yeah, good job. So just to point out this corner down here, I'm going to show you a photograph now that was taken when these floors were being done. And as you can see, uh, there was rot. The, the actual carpet grippers had rotted and that's because if you remember on the outside of the wall there was a crack there and we got them to fill it in so that water was coming down the wall and coming inside and was actually getting under the floor there and rotting it. So that's again, back to my point in last week's vlog where you need to make your house watertight before you start investing in these type of floors. Yep, so as you see, very impressed with the floor. It's what we uh, were looking for in a colour. Thanks Lodge guys. And it also blends in with the grey, the, the browns we already had in there. So let me go back over here again, sorry. Come with, with, with the, with the colours we already had. So the cost for doing that, the house was, I think it was 1300 square feet. We had to do a flooring. So to remove the carpet, put the baseboard down, do the um pay for the t for the thing and all the labor you just everything you've just seen was seven thousand three hundred dollars which is a lot less than the fifteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars not cheap but we made the call to do that because we already have the furniture scheduled to come down next week and we were going to cancel that and push it back and we just thought bite the bullet let's get it done now so that is the answer you had the seven thousand to the the guttering that you're at ten thousand so where's the other 5000 that we spent? Where, where, where is, um, where's that come from? Well, there's two items there. Number one, I did say that we are um, bringing down the furniture. So that was half of it. And the other half is 
we decided to go ahead and order new appliances. But the wait time for appliances is three months. So we've ordered new appliances to replace these, but we can't get them. Even ordering last week, we still won't see them probably to the second week of March. And that's just with COVID. They're not kind of building anything. They're building it to order. They're not keeping it in stock. So some of that was on the um, new kitchen stuff. And the other part is on the furniture, which will be in next week's vlog when that arrives. So what other things have happened that we have done that were not paid for this week, but other things that we um, already had in plan? Let's have a quick look. So I think I mentioned in the past, Maxine got a deal on a washer and dryer. And you may have seen in the last vlog, the two bases. We had a bit of an umming and ahhing because they came with the washers but would not put them on the bases because it wasn't on the contract. And so we had to pay more money for them to bring another group in to actually put them in. So now I'm gonna walk in for the first time and have a look and see what these two, not oh, where well, I can find the light switches are, what these two things look like. There we go. Oh, wow. So they are big. This is the normal size over here, Brits. <laughs> of a washing machine. I think these are about, Max and got a deal on them, they're about $800 each, they should have been over a thousand. So she's a Yorkshire girl. Samsung, washer, dryer, and these were the bases that cost us the extra money, which were almost, you know, half the price, not half the price, but a chunk of the washer machine. And these are kind of your drawers for putting your stuff in, but it raises up to a level, so you're not uh, bending down to get stuff in and out of the washing machine. It's got a steam thing there, whatever that means. So yeah, they are looking good. And then finally, the other thing we had done this week were the carpets, because the furniture's come in and we talked about the smell and we talked about this house is just like, ugh. So we had the carpet steam cleaned. I'm coming out the light. We had the carpet steam cleaned and uh, I'll let Maxine tell you about that. And I think she even interviewed somebody. encapsulates anything that can turn to a bacterial or odor. So anything, uh, dead skin, dust mite, pet um, dandruff, all that. So three days it constantly works and it helps with the drying process as well. Great, so, uh, thank you. So right now I'm moving right here. So um, it lifts up the piles of the actual um, carpet. Uh -huh. So when the carpet is laid down, it's matted and there's a lot of dust and debris that holds underneath that. So we raise up the piles, okay? Great. So it helps you to burn the Great. So walking upstairs, I see footprints. So they came and they steam cleaned. I think Max inside the chargers, because this bedroom is so big, the chargers for two rooms. And I think the chargers for another room for the closet. I know somebody was asking about, would want to come and sleep in our closet? Or we want to rent it out? Um, yeah, <laughs> apparently they think so do the carpet cleaners because they charge it as another room. So we've had all these steam cleaned and I told you all about the mold stuff last week, which was may have got a bit tacky for folks. I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, these these are on here. And I've just bought a, a, a load of smoke alarms because none of these are working in the house. So yeah, they steam cleaned the tile. They've done all the carpets, all the rooms upstairs. Oh, so here's a question for you. Comment below. Have to make a decision. Which of these rooms is going to be my office? Because the furniture's come in, we, the beds won't be assembled, so I have to put them up, but you vote below. So I'll just exclude the two rooms that are not gonna be my office. So as you know, we've decided this room here with the other black wall will be the guest room for our family and vlogging friends who come. We have the bathroom here, as we showed you. And then there's two, there's this room, which is next to the bathroom, kind of the middle room. And um, I think it's a little bit s the smaller of the rooms. This might be the one. It does have a little bit of a lake view out there. So you do get a bit of the, the view. Or this is option one. Let's call it option one, room one. Or option two, room two. And this is the bigger room. I think it's slightly bigger. But this is next to the master bedroom. So, you know, we've got to think about that from uh, people staying or wanting to be here and me, you know, it's gotta be a home office, like we're all working from home nowadays. And then if I'm gonna do some vlogs and some lives, then we'd set it all up in here. So let me know, 
This is room two. Should it be room two, which is next to the master? Or should it be room one, which is next to the bathroom? And vote now. Okay, that was an update as to what's happened in the last week, where all the money's gone. Budget has more or less been blown, but that was all the expensive stuff. That was all the big stuff. I think we want to get the house power washed, and there's things like buying the smoke alarms, and we want to change some of the fans and the lights, but they're not immediate. We can do those as we replenish the budget. And again, we did put this money away. We have been saving for this for a couple of years uh, to avoid getting into debt. So at the end of the day, I, you know, you can live with stuff. It might not be perfect. You can live with it until you can afford to change it. So we'll be going through and changing a few of the fans and the light fixtures and things like that as Maxine finds her deal. She already found one at Walmart as Maxine finds her deals. Um, and let me know, do you, are you interested in seeing us go to Lowe's and Walmart and look for these things? I'm not sure that's something you'd be interested in, but if you are, I can bring you along as long as I don't get kicked out for filming. But let me know, again, comment below. So let's get back to the DIY tasks at hand. And number one is, did I measure right the second time? So here I have the new grill that we'll go and see if it works. This is just some of the other stuff. Maxine got a deal on these lights. Uh, from, I can't remember, his Home Depot or whatever online. So there's basically two of these in each box and they're like, ends up being like $10, $11 a light fitting. So she got three of the, six of those, which will do the, replace the old ones. Here are the smoke alarms that I bought to replace, the, I think there's six of them in the house to replace. That is the pole. Remember I said at the top of the landing, there's a light, if you go back to the first vlog, I bought this extension pole that hopefully will help with that. And I'm guessing that this just happens to be one pack of flooring that was left that didn't get used. So I think, and I'm just looking around here at other boxes and things, I think everything else is just locks that we changed. So let's get back to looking at the grill. So let's see, moment of truth. Please tell me, please tell me this is the right one. Please tell me it's gonna fit. It was really weird on the measurements because um, the inner measurements look right, but the outer measurements didn't. And I just didn't have a clue. I just ended up ordering this one because of the inner measurements. But when I measured it compared to the one that was in, the outer measurements were a lot bigger. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's have a see. This is my cheesy grin. Looks like it fits this time. Woo! Top tip as well, if you're ever putting these filters in, um, the only are supposed to go one way around, the airflow. This is sucking air from the living room back to the main unit, so the air's going in, so the filter needs to go this way. The... So there we go. Looks a lot better than the old unit. Yes, yes, yes. So just got to get rid of this trash and get rid of the old filter and we're good to go. What did I say about being married to a Yorkshire girl? Everything's a deal. Display item. So we found this in B&Q as well when we were looking around. So keep your eyes open. Well, it's later in the evening. It's now dark and we are back at the rental house. So since we filmed the last part, just did a few things around the house. Uh, cleaned up the rest of the mold that was in the um, air handler. Nothing for you to see, similar like we did to the ducting. So we did that, tidied a few things up, got a few things ready. We had a walk out locally and went to try some um, a brunch in one of the local restaurants. There's restaurants and bars and shops in walking distance. So we did that, that was quite nice in the weather. Packed up, came home. It's now Saturday evening, so we're gonna sit down and watch Cheers Ears and then watch a few vlogs and relax. So thank you for watching today. Appreciate your time. If you like what we do, please um, like, subscribe, and add your comments below. And don't forget the things I asked you for today to let me know. Would you be interested in hearing a little more about my journey over here? Which bedroom should we have? Option one, option two. Appreciate your feedback. And we'll see you next Friday, 5 p.m. UK, lunchtime in the USA. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.